Some folks saw some beneficial rain over the past 24 hours here in central Texas. Others, not quite so much. And I think over the next 24 hours, we probably aren't going to see too much. Any isolated activity this evening will be dying out tonight, but we are keeping an eye down here in the Gulf of Mexico. Will this batch of tropical moisture be able to do anything for us by the end of the week? Well, we're tracking the tropics here and we have a couple of systems. One is potential tropical cyclone number two here. That has a 70% chance of becoming a depression or a tropical storm as it skirts across the northern parts of South America. That's going to be way south. We're really not worried about that. This is the one we're watching here. 40% chance of development into the Gulf of Mexico. So let's get a little in tight there. There's the center of the system right now. And this is the called the spaghetti plots. Different models saying where this could go. And notice they are far apart right now and not clustered. But they generally move it towards central Texas. That would be good news because that means we'd see scattered showers and thunderstorms across our area. So that's something we will be watching closely. So here's your future track. Any isolated activity will die out this evening and by tomorrow morning things will be quiet here across central Texas going right into Wednesday afternoon. I really don't expect much on Wednesday and it will heat back up in the mid to upper 90s. Then as we get into Thursday, things will be pretty quiet. Notice clouds developing down across our southeastern areas. Could be a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms across our southeastern counties. Then as we make our way into Friday, where is the exact track of this going? If it goes across the eastern half of central Texas, that's where the best rain chances would be. West of 35 wouldn't see much. If it's a little farther to the west, obviously we'd bring more rain chances to the area. So exact track still up in the air here. So that's why we'll keep rain chances about 30 to 40 percent by the end of the week. So tonight temperatures will be falling into the upper 60s and low 70s as a little bit drier air moves in. And tomorrow highs will be in the mid to upper 90s for us. And checking out your forecast 97 Wednesday into Thursday. Isolated thunderstorms southeastern counties. 30 to 40 percent right now Friday into Saturday again. If the track shifts a little farther west could be a little closer to us and that would raise rain chances. So something to keep an eye on there. By the 4th of July, though, it's looking hot and that will continue through the next week.